everyone. Welcome back. I hope you guys had a blessed weekend. Today, Monday, you know, start of the week, we all feel some type of way about Monday, especially coming off a weekend of fun, um, a weekend of traveling. You know, we find ourselves dreading Mondays, you know, not wanting to wake up. But I'm here to encourage you guys to get up, get going if you got a job. You know, even if you don't, you home, be thankful for the day because it's still a great day to be here. Um, and attack the day. You know, don't just rest and sit in your situation. You know, just try to make progress towards what it is you want. You know, it don't have to be big progress. You know, just put energy towards the things you want to accomplish. You know, the things you want to have um, to your goals, to your plans. You know, little by little. You know, and always track your progress. You know what I'm saying? And um, today I want to leave with the verse Psalms 23. And that's one through four, which is the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He lead me beside still waters. He restores my soul. Everything that you in right now, God knows it. You know, which is why he sent his son down, you know, to see why we react to certain things, to see why we say certain things, you know, to see, you know, the pain we feel and you know, the way we express ourselves, you know, so he sent his son down in, in human form, for one, for something we can relate to, that's one, and then two, so he can be able to be forgiven, you know, forgive us for our sins, so that he able to, you know, look past the faults that we have and, you know, the things that we tend to, you know, do and not know that it's sinning, you know, so the Lord is my shepherd just means the Lord is my protector, you know, you, just, you don't need anything else other than the Lord. You know, just think about your life. You know, when you turn to friends or you turn to people who you really, really, you know, have high expectations for and then they let you down or, you know, they stand you up, you know, or they not on time for something and you really place your um your hope, you know, in this person or persons, you know, when they didn't come through. But how many times, you know, God remained faithful? Think about that. Think about how many times, you know, you boasted and you 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 just didn't know what to do, where to go, and God came through. So, for one, you know, the Lord is my shepherd. He's your protector. You know, he understands what you're going through. You know, he know how to get you out of it as well. And then he makes me lie down in green pastures. You know, God will allow you to rest in what he placed you in. You know, and he will provide opportunities for you in that same place. You know, a lot of the times we get caught up in finding ourselves being blessed with something and then we still find ourselves, you know, worrying and back mad or feeling some type of way again because now we think in the head, we think about the future. But no, rest in what God has placed you in. You know, rest, you know, in your green grass, you know. He makes you lie down, which means whatever situation you in, you can't overcome this. You know, sometimes he set us down to, to hear him. You know, sometimes he want us to vent to him just like we do to a friend. You know, vent to him just like, you know, we do to a therapist. You know, God is that. You know, and he made therapists. He made people, you know. So, it's like I said earlier, we can be able to relate to certain things. You know, but whatever season you in, you know, he makes you lie down, which means you don't have to do nothing but serve God. You don't have to do nothing but call out to God and that's enough. You know, having faith, patience, and obedience is enough. You know, you may not have a job at the moment. You know, you may not be where you want to be, but rest in your in, in your presence. You know, rest, you know, in Jesus' presence. You know, and know that for sure. If you just take time to reflect, you know, first on your life and line up the things that you really want and work towards that, but put God in the midst, you will, you will be able to reach major heights you know what I'm saying and it's a great thing you know as I'm elevating myself and I'm seeing and experiencing that and he lead me beside still water you know he know a running water is dangerous he know you know moving water you know it's, it's gonna be tough and hard to get through you know moving water you know and think about the biblical um stories you know still water for sheep you know um it was hard for, for sheep to get across, you know, the water. So because of the current, because of, you know, what's the pressure, you know, that's coming with it. So 
God would, would stop all that. He would cease all that. He would cease the waters. He would cease the winds, you know, for you, you know, in your situations and show you that I'm here with you and show you that, you know, you can do this. You know, don't just look at your situation. Don't look at the moving water, you know, and get offended by it. But pray to me, you know, ask me, you know, to 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 silence that water, to quiet that water, you know, to to stop that water. And, you know, you able to walk, you know, a straight path through that water, you know, and that's the greatest thing about God, man, that he give you opportunity, you know, wherever he leads you, you know, he's able to, you know, progress you and give you the knowledge and the wisdom. He know your limits. He know what you're able to get out of. And sometimes we just find ourselves in these, in these places, in these spots, and we just so prone to not, you know, seeing past and living in the moment despite of what's going on. You know, you have to have confidence, you know, even if it's not in God, you know, some of us still working towards that, you know, just know what you've been through and that you still here, you know, how many times you um, cried or felt emotional and you still end up getting through and you came out and was happy and just was like, oh wow, like, dang, you know, I was tripping, you know what I'm saying? I was, you know, in my head just, you know, making up stuff and um, go to God in those, you know, in those moments for sure, you know, and he will restore your soul, you know, which is verse four, he restored my soul, you know, think about everything you overcame, you know, whether you know it was God or not, think about everything you've been through and you overcame, you know, whether it was, you know, the enemies, you know, physical troubles, you know, spiritual troubles, you know, and he will get you through, you know, a lot of us don't know it's him, but I could assure you that it's him, you know, despite of what you think or not, you know, we are all God's children and he love you, you know, and he wants you to seek him, you know, wholeheartedly, you know, open, you know, um, he understand what you're going through, you know, he feel the pain, you know, he hear your cries, you know, like I said earlier, that's why he came down in human form, you know, to feel and be able to forgive us for what we do. And I want to let you know you are forgiven already, you know, you just have to turn to him and ask for it, you know, repent and your life will you know, start to progress. You know, it's not going to happen overnight, but you will start to progress. And I just want to encourage you guys, man, to live like nothing is going on in your life. You know, it's hard for a lot of us, you know, and it was hard for me and I'm still learning. I'm still growing and elevating, you know, little by little. But man, just, just live with expectancy, you know, in your heart, you know, for God is with you always. And there's nowhere you can go that he can't find you. You know what I'm saying? North, South, East, West, He's there. You know, when you walk through the rivers, it won't you won't be swept by it. When you go through the fire, you won't be burned. You know, and all that is saying is that we're gonna go through some things. Sometimes you're gonna be in the deep water, you know, but it's not gonna go over your head because God is with you. You know, you're gonna go through the fire, you're gonna feel, you know, the 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 heat, you know what I'm saying, but you won't be burned. You won't your body won't light up inflammable. You know what I'm saying? So, man, I just encourage you guys, man, to Try your best, you know, to seek God and look for the lessons and blessings in your situation. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. Thank you guys so much.